See, there's a problem with me. I, I can't blame the artist because I read the tweet. This is supposed to honor Martin Luther King and Coretta Scott King, but my mind don't see that. And I don't even want to say what my mind sees because I'm embarrassed that knowing what I know, I see something else. From this angle, I don't, I don't, I see an embrace, but it's a different kind of embrace. It's an embrace I know well, I enjoy, but it ain't what I know. That's what not the sculptor said. I know the potter don't want that. The guy who's, he put that up, he didn't see that. But this angle, I do, and I'm ashamed. And from this angle, I don't even know what that supposed to be because it looked like something else. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I'm the right-winged angel, Oliver Mack. And in this video, we got to talk about this uh, ugly statue <laughs> that's supposed to honor Martin Luther King. And I don't think it does that at all. Let's check this out. All right, so this was unveiled in Boston on Friday, and it's pretty much just caused a bunch of memes and a bunch of jokes. It is just the most hideous thing I've ever seen, but you guys need to check it out if you haven't checked it out already. Let's watch this video. A new day is dawning in Boston. A sculpture being unveiled in Boston Common called The Embrace. It was inspired by a photo of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Coretta Scott King after he'd been awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964. What's striking to me about it is... So there are no heads. That's, that's the thing that's really throwing people off. It's just arms. You have a statue that's just arms and people are supposed to figure out what it is just by looking at it. You can't. You would have to put the picture side by side with this thing to, for people to actually understand what it is because just by looking at it, you're like... What is this? Doesn't look like just just arms wrapped around each other. And depending on what angle you see it at, you're gonna think certain things about what you see. Well, we can get to that later. So let's finish the video. I want you to see the artist. Of all of the images that you could have selected, you chose this one. When they met here, they were people full of dreams, full of ambition, and full of hope. And they chose to actually commit those dreams to one another and to society. And that day was like proof that they'd done what it was all worth it. Okay, so that's all we need to say about that. But let's, let, let, me, let me just show you something. So this is one angle of the statue. Okay, it still just looks like an arm wrapped around something else. I don't know what it looks like. You have to tell me what it looks like because I have no idea. It's just, you just see an arm and it's kind of holding another arm and then there's just something right there that it's holding, but you don't know what it is. You can't really tell. Now, if you look at the photo, check out the photo. So his arm is around her, his arms are around his, her shoulder and her arm is on his back. But, if you look at the sculpture, and if you're ready for this angle, I hope YouTube does not take this video down from showing you this, but if you look at this angle, this is her arms. Her arm or her hand is supposed to be on his back, but it's holding up his arms, which that's not what the photo is. Check it out. See her arm right there with the watch is on his back. There's no back in the sculpture. The sculpture just has arms. Now, if you look at this, <laughs> I don't know if you, you've you seen it for yourself, but if you look at this, it uh, looks like, uh, yeah, her arms are holding something else that we, we can't really talk about here on YouTube. But, yeah, that does not look like anything that should be in front of children. I'm sorry. But that is definitely not what you see in this photo. So I'm sorry, artist. Uh, let me see. What is his name? I... Uh, didn't catch the artist's name, but it, it doesn't worry about it. It doesn't matter. Whatever this artist's name is, whoever this artist is, you failed. This this is a complete and utter failure. And I don't know how much the city of Boston paid for this sculpture. Probably thousands and thousands of dollars. But that was not money well spent. This is not an attractive sculpture. This is an eyesore. This is going to be an eyesore for this city. But of course, you have a lot of woke people who are going to say, they're going to understand it. They're going to say, oh, well, it's for Martin Luther King and it doesn't matter. It just depends on what angle you're looking at. And you guys are just bigoted and racist. That's the only reason why you're, you're talking bad about the statue and criticizing it. No, 
There's a lot of people on the left. There's a lot of woke people who are also criticizing this statue because guess what? Even woke people have eyes and can see this monstrosity is a complete disaster and utter failure by the artist and by the city of Boston for actually commissioning this piece of crap because they knew what it was going to look like before they had it erected. I'm pretty sure he made a small model of what this was going to look like so they could look at it from different angles to see, okay, well, does it look good from every angle? They, they saw that and they still decided to go with this. So this is just complete crap. But one thing I wanted to mention, and this is, this is negative. I, I hate to get negative about this. But when you're talking about two individuals that they say, we want to commemorate their relationship, right? Coretta Scott King and Martin Luther King. We want to commemorate their relationship because it started the snowball effect with the civil rights movement and everything started from there. Now, their relationship was not roses and unicorns. It, it was not, you know, the, the best thing ever because we actually found out some things about Dr. Martin Luther King that a lot of us growing up did not know. The adulterous life of Martin Luther King. So they made a statue about this embrace trying to act like Coretta Scott King and Martin Luther King's relationship was just the best thing ever. But there's a lot that people decided to pull back the curtain of later on. And we see that Martin Luther King was not the man that people portrayed him out to be. Now, he did do a lot in terms of the civil rights movement. But looking at this man as a, a, a reverend, as a man of God, he did not do the things that a man of God was supposed to do. And highlighting this relationship with this this turmoil that was actually going on, I don't think it, it's, you know, th the mission was not accomplished. And I think people should know when you're looking at historical figures and people that people look up to, you kind of want to know other all sides of that person and you can make up your mind. Now, I'm, nobody's perfect, right? So I'm not going to sit here and say that because Martin Luther King slept with a lot of women. He, he had a pretty... Uh, pretty active sex life outside of marriage. I'm not going to say that diminishes everything that he did for the civil rights movement. Of course not. But when you're looking at you, when you idolize somebody and you, you honor somebody, you want to look at the whole of that person to see if that person is actually, if the good actually outweighs the bad. So I just wanted to kind of bring this up. Some of you guys probably didn't even know about this. They said that he had multiple women all around the country. One such weakness was his love for beautiful women. He had mistresses all over the United States in New York, Los Angeles, Louisville, etc. So, yeah, that's what it was. But they erected the statue to honor. Well, I mean, <laughs> come to think about it from this angle, maybe it does honor Martin Luther King. I mean, it looks like a woman holding up a big penis. <laughs> Maybe that does honor him because maybe that's what he was doing. <laughs> he had a lot of women holding this. Never mind. Don't forget I said that. Let's move on. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. But um, yeah, if, if you're watching this video and it's and on the day that it's released, happy MLK Day. I hope you have a great day. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy the memes about this statue. They are hilarious. Okay. <laughs> I just can't stop laughing at him. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit the like button, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. All right, I'll catch you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.